Hi guys, it's Shimona here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Makeup by Mario foundation. This is brand new from Makeup by Mario. So I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. It took a little while to get here from the US, but it has arrived. So I'm very excited to be trying out for you guys today. I really struggled to figure out what my shade would be as there is nowhere in the UK you are able to try it on in store. And it's not available at Sephora in the UK. I find it really strange that even though we've got Sephora, we still don't get things like early or on time when they launch in the US. And we still don't have like the reward system or anything like that. So it kind of makes it a little bit pointless. I'm hoping that it's just like early doors, teething problems, and they are going to improve that. But at the moment, Sephora UK is a bit kind of random and not quite giving us the Sephora vibes that we need and want um, from Sephora. But apart from that, I'm excited to try it. This is brand new from Makeup by Mario. This is Makeup by Mario is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. That's how he kind of made a name for himself. But he actually got his first job and um, first makeup gig in Sephora. So it was like a really big deal for him to be stocked in Sephora. So it comes in 30 shades. That is it's a diverse shade range in the sense that it has fair, medium, tan, dark, rich, whatever you may be. It seems to have a shade for you. It's quite hard to tell my shade in my skin tone range. Um, so I'm not sure how everyone else felt about that. But this is 42 US dollars and 44 pounds. And it says, Mario's foundation reveals skin's natural luminosity featuring moisture, moisture grip technology. The foundation hydrates skin for 12 hours and glides on easily for customizable coverage. Layer it on or shear it out. The buildable formula works harmoniously with powders and creams to create Mario's signature techniques while staying true to its true original color. I'm just gonna get into it, I'm gonna show you guys the packaging, show you some swatches, and then I'm gonna get into a demo. those are the swatches on it's actually a lot richer than i thought it was going to be it's a lot richer than i felt like it was going to be i was actually going to go even richer than this so i'm glad i didn't but i probably should have gone a shade down i sh probably should have gone for 23 24n definitely is a bit rich for me it's even richer then my, one of my richer foundations of the moment, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation in 14N. This is pretty much the same. I feel like it's a tiny bit richer and the Charlotte Tilbury has a bit more gold in it. Uh, I also thought it was gonna be a lot more similar after I swatched it to the Valentino, which I tend to wear in the summer. The Valentino is a bit more red, although it is a, it is a red undertone anyway. I like the fact that the undertone is true to what it's saying it is. 
it's just a bit rich but it might be okay in summer it might be okay with the lighter concealer on and once i've done my face in terms of the packaging i do really like it i love the black matte packaging that he's got on this external it's really cool very graphic black and white very like old school makeup if that makes sense it reminds me of like early mac early nars that kind of industrial vibe the actual foundation bottle itself is really nice i like the glass bottle i like the placement of the branding here i just don't know why but i just don't love these white lids and he's got a lot of white packaging and also with a foundation especially if you're brown brown hands white t white lid it's just kind of inconvenient and also just going to get really dirty um but maybe that's just me maybe i'm just kind of a dirty kind of girl i'm going to give you a quick swatch on my face um just so you can see what it looks like and then i will pop the rest on definitely not disappearing into my face but I don't think it's as drastic as I thought it was going to be it doesn't look as rich as I thought it would look so that's good that's positive and considering how it looked as a swatch it doesn't look that drastically that much deeper than me really but it's got a really nice coverage on it I actually think this is quite nice and I do like the coverage on it. It's actually quite nice having a proper foundation because in the last few days I've been trying out the tint, the MAC tint, which I have been really enjoying, but it's nice just to have coverage straight off the bat and not have to like keep layering, keep layering, keep layering just to get like to cover my blemishes. That was really like a one and done, which I do like. And it has like a really nice semi matte finish. It's got luminosity to it, but it's not overly glowy. So I do think it's nice. It is a little bit rich, but it's nothing crazy. It doesn't look as wild as I thought thought it was going to look um and so I think it's actually fine it feels very weightless on which I really like I love a foundation or any product on my face that I don't feel uh, so so far I'm enjoying it I'm going to pop a little bit of concealer on and um, just to kind of brighten and give my face some dimension then I'm going to set it very loosely uh, and then I will do a couple of check-ins and a wear test um, but just so I know what time it is now it is now 3.22 so guys, just giving you a close up in natural light. It's looking a bit more full coverage than it did initially, but I do like it. It's got a nice finish. It feels very smooth. I look smooth. I like it. Or 50 something it's been an hour and a almost half i'm not sure uh, but this is outside in dusk it's looking pretty decent i like the finish i like the coverage um but it's going to be dark soon so i thought i'd show you it before it gets dark it does have a nice blur to it it looks a lot more like airbrush i guess than other things i've tried recently so i do like it that's it Hi guys, it is now, let's see, 6.41, I've been wearing this for three, <laughs> three hours and 20 minutes, still holding up pretty well, just the light. I've got a very nice lighter here, very flattering candle light, uh, probably not really stick there, I like it, the coverage is really nice, 
I'd like to see what this looks like with the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath. I think it will give it some, some zhuzh. I'm also gonna be trying out some new like base products next week, um, videos of those. So I think those will be interesting to try with this as well. Um, but so far I'm really enjoying it. I really don't think I'm gonna be giving it a good wear test because it's quite late. Um, but so far so good, I'll show you in this light. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Sorry, I'm boiling potatoes. Not bad at all, lady. Bathroom. It's looking pretty flawless, actually. I'm quite feeling it. Hi guys, it is <laughs> it is 10.37 p.m. I've been wearing this for seven hours and 15 minutes, so that's good. Uh, this is my face, it's definitely got a lot more dewy. I think the cheeks are still looking pretty good, like the middle of my face is still looking pretty good, which is good. Obviously under the eyes, they have gone because it's always the concealer that goes first with me <laughs> i need to get my hair done um, yeah it's looking pretty good it's got a dew to it i looked in the mirror and i was like oh it's a bit dewy uh, it did catch me by surprise i was a bit sad about that but apart from that i think it is looking good the coverage is still very good very strong not bad i think it could definitely go for at least another three hours looking like this i think it's already the oil's kind of broken through now so i don't think it's going to get much shinier um obviously it said it's going to be a 12 hour wear i don't see a 12 hour wear but i do think a good solid 10 hours um would probably happen I mean, 12 hours sure i wouldn't look great but i think it would be absolutely fine so i'm quite happy with that uh, not too bad guys not too bad <laughs> not bad at all i think this is actually a really good foundation um i'm pretty happy with it to be honest with you i think i'm gonna keep wearing it i think the shade has settled really nicely it doesn't look like it's like drastically the wrong shade um so i'm pretty happy with the shade as well i don't see myself not using it i see myself using it over the next few days so i will try and do another wear test it won't be in time for this video unfortunately to go up but i will put it somewhere or let you know in favorites if it makes it into a favorites at some point as well so i'm enjoying it so far i like the finish considering seven hours i've been on the sofa i've been touching my face martin's licked me a few times so i think it's pretty good going so i'll show you in the bathroom light and then i'm gonna wash it off so this is it in the bathroom light Pretty good, pretty impressed. I'm liking it so far, so let me know what you guys think. Do you like the look of it? Will you be buying it, will you be trying it? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe, we'd love to have you in the Slab family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you so guys that is it that's my finished look let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys will you be buying it will you be trying it do you like the look of it do you like this foundation do you have it already and do you think i should have got another shade i feel like it kind of worked okay and i do really like the finish of it it's very velvety it's very nice very semi matte very chill very lightweight on the skin so there's a lot to love so far i'm really enjoying it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below guys will you be buying it will you be trying it do you like the look of it let me know anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe we'd love to have you in the slab family thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one